Hello guys, so welcome again to another video. In this video, we're gonna explore the stack segment of the, you know, the RAM, of our RAM, of our memory. So why, what is the stack basically, why we need it? So the stack is a part of the RAM, a part of the memory, in which we use for, you know, like it's bit coding. If you have some registers that you wanna store its value in a, you know, and you don't want to use any of the data memory, then you use the stack. And you know the stack makes your coding easier. Very easy actually. Using two operations, these operations are called Bosch and Bob, as we will see, you know, in, in a minute of two. Uh, the stack operations uses two uh, you know uh, registers. The stack segment registers hold is the first, you know, the first location we can say in the stack. And the stack pointer points to the last, uh, you know, uh, location in the stack in which you have data, as we will see also in, exa in the examples, you know, in a minute of two. Okay. So how we how we access the, the you know the stack the stack segment. So. Uh, we use two operations basically called Bosch and Bob. So if you wanna store in the stack, you use Bosch. You Bosch something in the stack. If you wanna read from the stack, you use Bob. So if you have a register like AX and you wanna store this register in the stack, you use Bosch. If you wanna read you know, some location, you use Bob. And for example, we're gonna read this location in 2BX, for example, okay? And, you know, uh, SB points to the current memory location used, uh, and it's called top of the stack, top of the stack. So the, the last location you used in the stack is basically called the top of the stack, okay? And the stack, you can call it first in, first out, oh, I'm sorry, first in, last out. So the last thing you store in the stack is the, uh, you know, uh, is the first thing you bob, you bob from the stack, okay? Or you can say last in, first out. Both have the same meaning. Again, the last, uh, thing or the, the last data you store in the stack is the first thing you bob from the stack or you read from the stack. Okay. As we said, the stack pointer, you know, points to the top of the stack, the last location, you know, you write uh, in it in the stack. And for the stack, we use, uh, we use 16 bit register to, to store their value. So if you have a 16 bit register, uh, you use, you know, this register to store their values in the stack. So for example, something like X, if you want to store the value of X in the stack, you simply say Bosch X. And the stack is actually a little bit different from the memory because once you, you know, store something in the stack, the stack pointer gets decremented by two locations or, you know, twice. And the reason for this is, is, that, is that because we only use, you know, 16 bit registers to, uh, to be pushed to the stacks. We cannot do something like eight bits, like AL or H, only 16 bits, only 16 bit registers, like AX, BX, okay? So here we have, you know, uh, three or some example in which we push you know, three values or three 16 bit registers into the stack. Okay. So you can imagine again the memory, like starting address from the bottom here, and the finish address is the last one. You can, you can, uh, you know, imagine the memory in that way. And for the stack segment, if the stack is empty, so the in the beginning, the stack pointer will point to the last location in the stack. 
that's why it's 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 decremented. So that means the stack point as you push into the stack, it will decrease. That means it was the highest in the beginning, then it got decreased. So if you put something in the stack, it will go to that location. Then this guy will point to you know another location, and you push again, it will decrease, and so on until you reach the last you know uh, place here zero 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 zero. Okay, so let's see you know the example here. So you have SCB at twelve thirty two. In that example you're gonna use the opposite notation in which you assume that the, you know, the top location here is, is four zeros and the last location here is four F. So the stack pointer in the beginning will be pointing into here. Also in that example, it's pointing to another location, which is 1236 hexadecimal. okay? So you're gonna push AX and the X remember is, you know, is uh, 16 bits. So AX uh, assuming has 24 B6. So again, because we use little Indian, you know, uh, or X86 use little Indian style for storing the data the least significant byte will go to the lower address and the most significant byte will go to the higher address. So remember, we increase in that way or decrease in that way. Okay, so SB will get decremented. So we're gonna use that way, not the other one. So the most significant byte, which is 24, will be stored here. Or the, you know, the first location after that, because this is the last location you use. Then when you push, you go to another location. So the 24 will be here in 1235. Then the least significant byte, which is B6, will be here, 1234. Then you're gonna push DI. DI is eight five C two. So the most significant byte will be in the higher address, which is that one here. Here is will be twenty. Uh, I'm sorry, eight five eight C eight five. I'm sorry. Then you're gonna store the least significant byte, which is C two. So that will be twelve thirty three. That will be 1232. That's right. Then finally, we're gonna push DX. Here is DX. So the 5F will be stored the first, and that location is 1232. I'm sorry, 1231. Then the least significant byte, which is nine, Three. And this location will be 1230. 12.30. Okay, guys, that's basically how, how we push. Now let's see an example for the Bob. So the Bob is the opposite. You read from the stack. So each time you will increment this time the stack. Let's use the same, you know, uh, style again, in which the zero, 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 zero is at the uh, you know at the top here. And the F, 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 F is at the bottom. Okay, so that way you increase, that way you decrease. In that way, we're gonna use this one because it's a bob. We have three bob operations here. This one, this one, this one. So, Assuming this is the first location in which the SV was pointing, which is 18 FA. Which has 23. Then 14. Then 6B. Then 2C. 91 F6. I'm trying to solve it, you know, 
again although the solution is is feasible to you we're just to train you how to solve such problems without looking at the solution so when you pop so basically remember this is at a lower address so this will be the least significant byte and that guy will be the most significant byte so cx after this bob operation will have uh, uh, 14 at the most significant byte 23 14 23 then the stack pointer will increment by two locations so it will point here at the point at which I have 6b. So this will be the current location now with sb after the first bob. Then the second bob, again, this is the least significant byte. So dx least significant byte will be 6b. And the highest significant byte or the most significant byte will be 2c. So dx will be 2c, 6b, 2c, 6b. And then this will decrease again by two locations so the new location of sv will be here so bx will have 91 as the least significant byte and f6 as the most significant byte so in the exam or the midterm or whatever you know and before that even you you must you must you know understand how stack works because you're going to use your, this stack all over. The concept itself of the stack is very important in assembly or other than assembly, in other programming languages, in high and high level programming languages. Okay. The last example is actually about addressing of the stack. Again, to uh, if you have the stack like this. So the first location in the stack is, is, is stored in the stack segment register. Okay. And the stack pointer points to, you know, is, is the offset. So the stack pointer is our offset, offset address. Or we can call displacement. As we learned, you know, in the last uh, two videos. So in that example here, if you have, you know, the stack segment register has uh, three 500 and the stack pointer has three FE, hexadecimal of course, calculate the physical address, that's very easy. So you take the, the start, shift it to uh, the left and put zero to the right and add to that the stack pointer, which is F, 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 E and put zero here, not to confuse yourself. Then add them together. And again, I'm gonna publish a video of how to add hexadecimal numbers together. That gives you, you know, the physical address. So if this is a displacement, which is F, 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 H. So that location here is actually, you know, three, five, three zeros plus zero F, 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 E. Okay. Calculate the lower range. The lower range is, you know, this guy, three, five, three zeros. Calculate the upper range, three, five, three zeros, and add for that four Fs. So the last location here, the physical address of the last location is three, five, three zeros plus zero F, 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 F. The logical address, it is the same uh, or exactly the same way we did with, the, you know, the code segment or the, you know, the data segment. Basically, you take 3500, put colon, and then put the offset, which is F, 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 E. That says guy for the memory, or basically this, this is chapter, chapter uh, three. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.